Hi there, this is Rick again with Renaissance Charge and we're going to show you today a new kit. Remember with Renaissance, going green saves you money, always. So here we have a new kit here. It's our little window motor kit as we call it. And now we have three coils attached on here uh, instead of just the one top. Uh, wire or a uh, two wire system here. We have self triggering on this particular setup. We don't have the hall switching and all that on this yet. But what we have is um, this basic, this is the basic circuit without the extra coils on it. You have one primary battery charging up 12 volts or more. And um, in this case, we have a transistor, neon bulb, a little diode here, another diode there for the output, and then a resistor, trigger resistance. In this particular case, we have this multiplied by three, except for the trigger wires. We just have one trigger wire for all three coils. And that is represented in this circuit here without uh, the monopole, this is a different motor, it's a window motor, but it's the same arrangement here. 12 volts, 12 volts. Again, you can see the trigger coil here with a pot. Now I've taken out the pot and I've just put a 470 ohm resistor in this place. And um, here, instead of these resistors, well these resistors here are um, 10 ohm resistors. And that's the basic circuit. Again, these are the transistors, and there's the diodes. And this is a, what we call a magnetic window motor. And it is made up of neodymium magnets here. And the magnets are about two inches long by half an inch wide by I think one sixteenth inch. They're fairly, um, they're fairly small magnets. And without this tape here, we put glue on that, on the kit. And we also have tape, string tape there for added support. Because when I ran this thing about 30,000 RPM, when I first made the kit, I blew out the magnets. It's kind of funny to, to watch that happen. But the magnets just gave out like that. So you have to limit the RPM with a load of some sort or tape it or whatever. The uh, user is responsible for their own experimentation. These are kits that you experiment with. And you acknowledge that when you buy the kit. So let's start it up. We're looking at voltages here. Primary voltage of 1238 and the charging voltage 1197 and we've got a little amp meter here I think we're pushing about half an amp <coughs> on this kit um, as it is set up right now we're making another model right now that will run shortly in the next video with uh, larger wire larger circuit components so we can really push it but Let's start this off. You can go in either direction on this kit. It's pretty neat. Um, you can spin it any direction. So let's start off with... Whoops! Looks like we got some rubbing action here. Right. This coil on the top. There we go. <laughs> so now let's look at the RPM here. It's kind of hard to get. 4,600. 
think it's flat right. So we're pulling about half a damp. There we go. If I can get this in. Not running. Alright, so what I'm trying to do here is position the coils as close as I can to the rotor without rubbing against it. And in that case I was rubbing against this coil here, the master coil. So again we can rotate in either direction. You can see the charging voltage slightly climbing now. We've got half an amp. Still rubbing. So Actually, so if we actually put something underneath there, it won't, won't sound as bad. A little bit of vibration. <laughs> go like that. Yeah, it's a lot faster than 4,000 RPM. It's 13,000 RPM around. 12,600. It's an 80, the real number here. Anyway, there's a good bit of, of torque on the system. In this case, when we load this one down, it, it draws a little bit more. With the window motor, we're dealing with two different things here. We're dealing with what we call radiant energy, which, as I've shown many times, is charging this battery. Um, so, pardon the commercial on the radio there. Um, this battery is in series, the charging battery is in series with the primary battery. So, that can't be actually charging, the primary battery can't be charging the charging battery in this case. Because, um, sorry about that. <laughs> because, you can't charge a battery from another battery in series with it. So what we have here is not the back EMF either that's charging the battery, but um, what we call radiant energy. As the switch closes, as, as the switch closes immediately, there's a, a spike that you can see on an oscilloscope as a result of this radiant event that's taking place. And uh, it's not the collapsing of the coil that's actually charging the battery. Now in this case, what we have is, is two types of charging. We have that type of charging. And then we also have the magnets. Since they're neo-magnets, they um, will induce some charge in the coil as they pass by the coil. So you have a positive charge there that you can see that on a oscilloscope. I don't have it hooked up right now. This is just a, a, a quick video showing our new kit here. So let's take a look at a few things. First of all, we have quite a bit of torque here for half an amp, six watts. And then we have nice and cool transistors here. Resistors are all nice and cool. 
coils are all nice and cold. So everything's running nice and cool. That's the way we want it for this particular kit. And, um, you know, here we have nice charging taking place. 